Hello everybody, welcome back to another GTFO guide. Uh, since the last one did so good, I thought, why not make another one? So today I'm going to be showing you um, my method for beating security doors, because that's one big part of GTFO, and it's going to be one big challenge when soloing. So uh, the first tip I'd recommend doing is picking out, again, a strong loadout. Of course, I recommend the Mind Deployer. It's been the most useful for mowing down uh, the big groups. Ultimately, I just would recommend getting one short range weapon and one uh, mid to long range weapon. That's probably the best thing you can do. Now, this first tip has uh, little to nothing to do with uh, the security doors, but. What I would want to do is try to save as much ammo as possible. Try not to use any ammo whatsoever. Like, let's say you get into a situation, only use ammo if there are a lot of sleepers. What you really want to do is get good at hammering, because uh, ammo is going to be really important, especially in like big groups. Another tip is um, when you find an ammo pack, uh, you want to try to optimize it. Basically, let, let's say you use a bit of ammo. Make, make sure that whenever you give it ammo, make sure it's reloaded to the full. Because if it's not reloaded to the full, you could waste some ammo. You really want to make sure that the rooms that you're uh, traversed through to get to the security door are completely clear. Because if you have any stragglers, uh, they will wake up with the waves that spawn. Oh. Maybe not. Another important thing about security doors is that you only want to go into them if you have to. You do not want to explore in this game. Exploring is bad. Because if you open up a security door, you cannot close it. And an open door means new possibilities for enemies to spawn there. So what you want to do is you want to find which doors you have to go through. So let's say this door is locked. You need a key green 103. So you want to go into terminal, query, key, green, 103. So in this instance, I need to go to zone 2, 2, 5, 2. Now this is going to be a bit of a problem because the room for that area is a lot smaller. So you really want to line up the area, make sure everything's prepared, you want to make sure that everything is secure. You want to try to mow down as much as the wave as you can, so that you can have as little problem taking out the sleepers while you are scanning. You really want to try to get out of it unscathed. This is where your long range weapon will really shine, because if you happen to be at a good angle, you can take him out from afar. And you really want to spread out your minds because if uh, if they happen to be close together and then uh, one uh, sleeper hits it, it its dead body will most likely fly off and hit another mine, therefore wasting it. Dead bodies of other sleepers can still trigger mines, so please keep that in mind. Now you really want to make sure to keep out all the sleepers. You want to make sure that you are not caught in fire or with the mines. You really don't want to get get uh, hit by a mine because they will one-shot you. Now of course it's not just uh, the line of fire. The Another problem is also staying it too close to it because it does not only just fire through that line, it, shoot, it explodes around it as well, which I learned the hard way. Another thing I recommend is also keeping a mid pack on you while you're doing this so that if uh, you need to heal mid fight you can just do that. Makes things a lot easier. And look around for loot. You really want to make sure that you use all your resources. All right, right here, med pack, or not med pack, ammo pack, which I do not need yet, so I'm going to put that back. Another thing is that you also want to know your environment. You want to know uh, where the enemies are gonna come from, you want to know where the enemies are gonna spawn from, 
and you want to know where you can cut them off. For this map, this is the only place that they can come from for the store, which is very good, which means that there's only going to be one chokehold place. So, when, let's say you get overwhelmed by sleepers while you're doing the scans. And that's happened to me several times, so really just practice and improve. That's really a lot of this game. So let's say you uh, are doing scans and you get overwhelmed by sleepers. Let's say that they come in close and you are trying to fight them off. I do not recommend fighting them off if they're all over you. If they're all over you, I recommend running, finding some sort of circuit, and kiting. You want to make it so that they follow you in sort of a trail. You want to run for a while and try to get out of there. And then eventually come back and shoot them while they are sort of spread out. Now again, remember my running tips. So just run and dash or slide or run and bunny hop because bunny hopping in this game is a thing. Do not just run normally like this, that will not help you much because you are not faster than the sleepers normally. So keep that in mind. So, not about, so that's about as much uh, information slash help that I can offer on the security scan doors. A lot of it is just going to be a lot of trial and error. It really depends on the map, honestly. The map slash level. So just try, try, and try until you eventually get it. It may take many, many hours of work, but it will eventually pay off. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.